you guys. Namaste, everybody. We're going to get started today in hero's pose. So use a block if you want, maybe two, maybe a bolster. Just sink your hips down. Bring the hands to the heart. Draw your shoulder blades back. Close your eyes. Bring the crown of the head up high towards the heavens. Sink your hips, your heels down. Make adjustments to the block as we sit here for just a couple of minutes. If you need to remove it or adjust the height, higher or lower, whatever your body needs today. Tuck the tailbone. Draw the shoulder blades back even more. Slow down your breath and breathe in your intention. Today it's strength. Strength that I need to live my life to the fullest, to find the nutrients that I truly need, and to find balance and healthy boundaries on all aspects of my life. Begin to breathe and manifest your intention. Maybe today for you it's strength as well, it could be something else. Breathe slower and deeper, even more methodical. Exhale, sink down to the earth as much as you can. Inhale, open the eyes and come into a tabletop. Shoulders over the wrists, hips are over the knees, tops of the feet are down. Now once again, I want you to think about this portion of the hands in this line of energy coming up through the body. Not on the outside, but more on the interior side. Then inhale to cow pose, drop the belly, crown of the head up high towards the heavens. Then exhale, cat pose, drop the heavy head, begin to curl your spine. Inhale, cow, lower the heart, open the clavicle as much as you can. Exhale, cat, press firmly into the hands, broaden the shoulders, navel to the spine. Now two more times on your own where the length of your breath, it mirrors, it matches the length of your movement. And if you want to take any other little movements here just to open up, you can. Exhale, then inhale to a flat back tabletop. And then exhale, and inhale to a high plank. Shoulders over the wrist, heels are over the toes, tuck your tailbone, navel to the spine. Find your strength. Find your endurance. Find your resilience. One more inhale. Exhale, down dog. At any point, the mat becomes a little slippery, you need a little extra grip. Remember, you can always grab the outside of the mats here. Push your heels down into the earth. Raise your hips up just a little bit higher. Find the ability to be strong here. Inhale, high plank. And exhale, down low. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down low. Inhale, high plank. And exhale, down low. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, right knee to right tricep. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, chaturanga push up. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, right knee to right tricep. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, chaturanga push-up. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to right tricep. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, chaturanga push-up. Inhale, three-legged dog. And exhale, down dog. And just pedal it out here, wherever you're at. Take two breaths, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Left side. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, left knee to left tricep. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, chaturanga push up. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, left knee to left tricep. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, chaturanga push up. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, left knee to left tricep. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, chaturanga push up. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, exhale, lower the knees. Take the knees wide and hop into child's pose just for a couple of breaths. Allow those knees to spread or splay as wide as you need. Sink your hips down, your glutes. Come back to your breath. Slow, beautiful, methodical breath. Breathe and manifest your intention. Right here, right now. 
Exhale, sink down. Inhale, tabletop. One breath of cat and cow. Inhale to cow. And exhale to cat. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Feel those heels melt down further. Feel the head and the neck and the, the shoulders relax further. Take an inhale. Exhale, side out. Inhale, switch the gaze, bend the knees, press with the hands. Exhale, float to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift and just pause here for a few breaths. Palms can be on the shins. Fingertips can find the earth. Remember, you can always use blocks here as well. Draw the shoulder blades back. Lengthen the spine. Take an inhale, lengthen and stretch, and exhale, release. Fully fold forward. Inhale, rise to mountain pose. And exhale down to Samastitihi. And pause here. Tuck the tailbone, navel to the spine, shoulder blades draw back. Crown of the head up high. Find strength. Begin to feel nurtured, connected to the earth below you, grounded and rooted. Strong. Exhale, let go of anything that does not serve you. Inhale, rise the mountain with a little bit of a back bend. And exhale, fully fold forward, hands through heart center. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale through a chaturanga. Inhale, pause for up dog. And exhale, curl the toes and raise the hips down dog. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, high lunge. Right knees over that right ankle, that left heel's over the toe. Sink your hips, your pelvis. Try to get everything in line. Inhale, bring the crown up high. Exhale, sink your hips and your pelvis. And inhale, come up to a crescent lunge and feel the strength that you already have just from this first week of yoga. Hands can be at the heart, hands can be up. I like to have my hands on my hips just so I can help find some balance, stability. Take an inhale. Exhale, and remember everything we do, the heel and the toe, warrior two. Shoulders are stacked over the hips, tuck the tailbone. Sink down as low as you can, and every inhale you lengthen, you stretch, you define yourself with strength, with courage. With every exhale you refine yourself and you let go of anything, any fear, any doubts. Exhale, sink down as low as you can, then inhale, bring it back to reverse warrior. You're breathing and stretching from that whole right side body up as high as you can. Palms could be here, left palm could be down, or bound behind you. Take an inhale, lengthen and stretch that whole right side body. Exhale, bring the heart forward for extended side angle. Elbow and knee can meet. Palm can find the earth or a block. As you inhale, twist and draw that left shoulder over the right. As you exhale, sink your hips and your pelvis down. Inhale, lengthen and stretch. Exhale, sink down lower. Inhale, rise to star. So feet are parallel, toes in. It's kind of like a wide mountain pose. But your star, you're reaching, you're lengthening. Take one more. Inhale, lengthen and stretch. And exhale, release. So wide-legged forward fold. You can kind of sway it out here if you want. Kind of a supported little side squat. Yeah. Feel that stretch. As you exhale, melt down to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk those feet up, change the direction of those feet. That left toes over the toe, right knees over, to a runner's lunge. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, forearm plank. Tuck the tailbone, navel to the spine. Find strength, find endurance, find resilience. Exhale, inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, press and pause for up dog. And exhale, curl the toes and raise the hips down. Take an inhale. Exhale, side out. One more, guys. Inhale. Exhale, side out. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, high lunge. Pause here. Left knees over, then ankle. Flex that right leg, right heels over the toe. As you exhale, you sink it down. Inhale, open the heart. Take one more exhale to refine who you are. Inhale, come up. Crescent lunge, hands can be up, hands can be at the heart, hands can be at the hips. Find your balance, find your stability, find your foundation. That's what you need to build your strength, a solid foundation in all aspects of your life.
take an inhale, exhale warrior two, right heel first when you start this transition. Shoulders are over the hips, tuck the tailbone. It may feel a little different. The right side may be a little bit more tight, left side may be a little bit more open, whatever it is for you today. Lengthen and stretch with every inhale and exhale, sink down lower. Yeah. Take an exhale. Inhale, bring it back to reverse warrior. Once again, this left waistline all the way up to the left fingertips, you're lengthening, you're stretching that whole side of the body with every inhale. With every exhale, you're sinking down low. Take another inhale, lengthen and stretch. And exhale to extended side angle. Elbow and knee can meet. Palm can find the earth or a block. Whatever serves you in this breath, in this moment. Wherever you're at, you're completely, totally okay. As you exhale, sink your hips, your pelvis down. And inhale, rise all the way up to star. Advance it out for one breath. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, open up, and exhale down into what they call goddess. Hands can be at the heart. You can Egyptian the arms. Just free flow and free play here for just two breaths. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Take an inhale. Exhale, release. Fully fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk the palms up into a runner's lunge. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, forearm plank. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, press up high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Remember, you can skip these and go straight to down. Inhale, pause for up dog. And exhale, down dog. Two breaths and we'll go through that sequence. Breath to movement. Inhale. Exhale, side out. Inhale. Exhale, side out. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, high lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. And exhale, warrior two. Inhale, bring it back to reverse warrior. And exhale, bring it forward to extended side angle. Inhale to star. Exhale, wide legged forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk it up front, runner's lunge. Inhale, high plank. And exhale, forearm plank. Take an inhale. And exhale, bring that navel to the spine. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Or go straight to a down dog. Inhale, pause for up dog. And exhale, down dog. One breath. Inhale. Exhale, side out. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, high lunge. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. Then exhale, open it up, warrior two. Inhale, bring it back, reverse warrior. And exhale, bring it forward, extended side angle. Inhale, star. Exhale, down the goddess. Inhale, shoulders over. Exhale, sink down, lower. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release, fully fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk it up front, runner's lunge. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, forearm plank. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, navel to the spine. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga, or straight to down dog. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Just a couple of deep breaths here. Slow. Beautiful, methodical breaths. Inhale, and exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, high lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, star. Exhale, release, one legged forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release, fully fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, runner's lunge. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, forearm plank. Inhale, shoulder draw back. Exhale, navel to the spine. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, high lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, open up that whole left side body. 
and exhale, bring the heart forward. Inhale, star. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, shoulders back. Exhale, sink lower. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release, fully fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release, fully fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Walk that up front. Exhale, runner's lunge. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, forearm plank. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, pause. And exhale, curl the toes. Inhale, hinge forward, high plank. Exhale, lower down to the knees. Child's pose. Couple deep breaths here. Nice, slow, methodical. Open your heart. Feel the connection with the earth below you, the heavens above you, and the community around you. Exhale, mount all the way down to the earth. Inhale, rise. High plank. Exhale, down dog. We're gonna go to kind of a different lizard. So inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, right foot out. But I want you to take that right toe out. Place that left palm on the earth. Place the right palm on the thigh. Release that left leg. On your inhales, lengthen, stretch. Think about extending the spine. On the exhale, sink your hips and your pelvis down further and lower. Every breath in, you define yourself with strength, with courage, with resilience. With every exhale, you let go of any fear or any doubt. A couple more breaths here. Find a deeper, slower breath. And just breathe. Exhale, palms find the earth. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg run, rises, and exhale over into that rudder's lunge. Right knees down, left foot's out about 45. Right palm comes to the center, left hand's on the thigh. How my puppies doing back there? Anybody got dogs that's watching this, leave a comment. Let me know what kind of dog you have. And if your dog does yoga. So I will be honest, I always run through this one time before I record it. And the dogs are all over me loving and kissing and hugging. So one of these days, I'll actually record it and post it for you. Two more breaths. Just in and out. Exhale, palms find the earth. Inhale, high plank. And exhale, down dog. Stretch it out just a little bit. Half pigeon, inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, right knee to the wrist. Right foot's in the groin, release the left leg down. Stay here. This is also a good place for a block is underneath the glutes. If you kind of want to sit up a little bit higher, just make sure you're watching that lower back, the sacrum. If you can go into a full pigeon, you can also take a strap and place it around the ankle and ground yourself right there. Pause here for a few deep breaths. Open the heart. If King Pigeon is in your practice, feel free to go there. Otherwise, let's just fall down into the earth and melt our hearts and clear our minds and begin to transition already. As we slow down this practice, we're transitioning from a place of doing to just simply being. And being present, being mindful giving ourselves that time to rest, to recover. Our body, our mind, our heart, our soul needs that every single day to find strength, to find endurance. Exhale, bring those palms to the earth, engage that left leg. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to right tricep. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to right tricep. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to right tricep. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale to half pigeon, left knees next to the wrist, foots in the groin, release that right leg down. Place a blanket, a bolster underneath the glutes, the hamstring, whatever you need. 
Find gentle, slow movement here. Protect your lower back. So many times we have lower back issues because our core is weak. So these, a lot of these exercises are going to help build that core strength. So many times in our life it's opposite of what we think. It's causing the issue. Allow yourself to come into a meditative state. King Pigeon, stay up or lower down to the earth. The forearms are all the way down to the belly, to the heart, where it's connected. And begin to allow your mind to fly away. Allow your mind to go into a place that truly resonates with you, a place where you can be free. You can be bold. You can be elegant. You can be beautiful. You can be creative. Remember, if you wanted to strap and bring this out into a full pigeon, place a strap around that right angle, bring it out, anchor it down with that right wrist. Sink your hips down even lower. Lengthen your spine. Define yourself further with who you are, with who you've become. Exhale, melt down to the earth. Draw the palms to the earth. And inhale. Three legged dog. Sink that right heel down. Exhale, left knee to left tricep. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, left knee to left tricep. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, left knee to left tricep. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, down dog. Feel different about your body. Remember, you can grab the outsides of the mat at any time. All these props are an extension of who you are, mentally, physically, and spiritually. They're here to enhance your life, to allow you to grow, to find more strength, more endurance. Inhale, exhale, lower the knees, come to a seated position, and try to get back into hero's pose. If you need a block, feel free to sit on a block. Make micro adjustments to who you are, mentally, physically, and spiritually. Allow your breath to become slow and methodical. Hands can be at the heart, thumbs to the sternum. I just want the eyes closed. Palms can be up. Means you're looking for some spiritual guidance. Palms down. Means you're looking for grounding, rooting. Maybe you need to be a little bit more nurtured today. Find contentment. Find forgiveness. Find trust. Find love and passion for who you are. Find peace. Give yourself this opportunity to grow and stretch. Draw the shoulder blades back, lengthen the spine. If you're super open, you can come back down to the forearms. I am not today. My legs are an enormous amount of pain. But you can come to the forearms or you can go all the way back. Open the heart further and deeper. Open the heart as much as you can. And be patient with yourself. Mm -hmm. Give yourself love and compassion. Take an inhale, bring those arms up overhead. Exhale, palms swing the earth. Inhale to a tabletop. Two rounds of cat and cow. You can sway from left to right, right to left. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly make your way to your back. 
Hug the knees into the chest and just rock left to right, right to left. Slowly, gently, organically, fluid. Supdabodhikonasana, the soles of the feet come to touch. If you want to, you can place blocks underneath the thighs here to help give you a little bit more support. Place the right hand on the belly and the left hand on the heart. Feel how strong you are through your heartbeat, how bold, how courageous, how resilient you've come. How much love that flows through the body right now and patience. Fortitude. The understanding that you've been granted from this week of exposure. Without true exposure, you cannot be granted understanding of the concept. And with that understanding, you're granted enlightenment. Exhale, melt down to the earth. Inhale, bring those knees into the chest and rock left to right. Right to left. Slowly and gently. Inhale. Hug that right knee in. Exhale, release that left leg down to the earth and relax through the heel, the calf, the hamstring, the glute, the shoulder. Inhale. Draw that right hip over the left and twist over. Stacking right hip upper left. Relax the shoulders down as much as you can. Right leg, right foot can be on the earth. You can extend it out if you're really limber and open. You can grab that toe, whatever serves you in this breath in this moment. Make it as passive or active as you need. yourself this time now to even cool down further and deeper and to connect further and deeper to the earth below you, the heavens above. To feel confident, to be encouraged, to be loved, to cherish this moment and realize every decision we made in our past collectively brought us here today to this precise moment. Exhale, release that right knee down as much as you can. Inhale, kind of turn over, reset the sacrum, tuck it into the ground, hug the knees into the chest and rock right to left, left to right, slowly and gently. Breath, body, mind, heart and soul are in tune or in sync or in love. Inhale, hug the right knee. Nope. Inhale, hug the left knee. Exhale, release that right leg down to the earth. Release that right heel, right calf, right hamstring, right shoulder. Inhale, hug that left knee in further and twist over where that left hip now is on top of the right. Relax the shoulders down into the earth and calm the mind and deepen the breath. Take the left leg out straight, left sole can find the earth, whatever you need in this time right here. This is your time to recover, to repair, to rebuild. to enhance the life of yours and enhance the life of others. Give yourself this opportunity to live life like you've never lived before, with more confidence, more strength, more resilience. Allow your heart to open up further and deeper. Allow that transformation that occurs every single time you come to this mind to flow through you. You see yourself completely different now. You feel completely different. Find that oceanatic, organic breath.
divine contentment, divine peace. Exhale, lower the left knee down as much as you can. Inhale, turn over to center, hug the knees, and rock left to right, right to left. Happy baby, if you wish. Plow, if you're familiar with that, whatever you need. Or you can go straight into Shavasana. Just to let everything go, to let everything begin to heal to repurpose, to recycle, to recover. Go ahead and make your way into Shavasana if you're not there, and then close your eyes. And relax and melt. Release the tongue from the roof of the mouth. Release any tension you have through the jaw, the back of the neck. And relax your shoulders. Down through the arms, the triceps, the biceps, the elbow, the forearm, the wrist, and all through the hands. The clavicle, the scapula, the spine, the back of the rib cage. Tuck the tailbone, sacrum. Now open your heart. Deepen the breath. Clear your mind. And feel the healing energy that flows through the body. And where you feel nurtured and you feel strong. And that healing energy flows through all the vital organs the stomach, the kidneys, the colon, the liver. all the way down to the pelvic region. Relax the glutes and the hamstrings, and the quads and the IT band. Relax the knees, the calves and the shins, your ankles, and all through the feet, the toes, the soles and the arches of the feet. Stay here as long as you need to today. to recover, to rebuild, to heal, to find resilience, to find honor, to find pride. If you're ready, continue with your day. Slowly, gently begin to reawaken the body. Grace the thumbs over the fingers. Wiggle the toes. Find gentle movement in the hands, the feet, the wrists, and a symbolism of a fresh start and a new beginning. Inhale, bring the arms up overhead. And as you exhale, hug those knees into the chest and rock from right to left, left to right. Inhale, hug those knees in further, then exhale over into the embryo position. Right biceps the pillow and the left palms on the heart. Feel a level of confidence, a level of strength that you've never felt before. A level of trust in yourself. Your intention today is strength, fortitude, and resilience. Gently place that left palm on the earth. Slowly push yourself up to a seated position at the top of the mat. Hands are at prayer, thumbs are at the sternum. The head is bowed in reverence of honor and pride. Continue to allow your breath to guide your movements. Allow your heart to guide your thoughts and your soul to guide your beliefs. The yogi in me honors, respects, and appreciates the yogi in each and every one of you. Thank you so much for coming to your mat and connecting mentally, physically, and spiritually. I hope you have an amazing day. Namaste. Thank you guys. Love you.